Okay, I'll wait. Okay, so welcome everybody to BTC Pay Server documentation call. As you may remember, recently we started opening up these calls for people to join in, and we are also recording them so that you guys can rewatch them. Um, the goal of this particular call is to introduce people to contribute to BTC Pay Server um, via some sort of content, whether that, that's uh, visual design, uh, videos, writing documentations, writing for our blog, any of those. Like You don't have to have any sort of experience in order to contribute to any open source software. And especially with BTC Pay Server, we really want to... Uh, you regardless of your experience it's a great way to kickstart your open source contributions but also build up your career meet friends network and work on bleeding edge uh, bitcoin software i guess so um i am pavel next i'm one of the contributors um, i will be leading the call today mostly showcasing uh, what we uh, have in terms of um, contributions uh, uh, via content and i will like showcase you our processes a little bit more. So I will try to share my screen. Hopefully like my PC won't collapse uh, and I won't like <laughs> introduce another technical error. By the way, with me, we have Parker, DB, uh, Kasp, uh, Kasparov and Vas um, and also Webster. So um, these goals are open, by the way. We have our calendar opened and I will show, shortly show you how that one looks. Uh, let's hope I won't crash. I will show you. Just give me a second. Okay, so I pasted the link in the Parker. If you can click in chat on Jitsi and yep. I'm not sure why okay. it's collapsing. It probably that. doesn't like Firefox for some reason. So yeah, this is where we schedule calls. Uh, you can look through the calls. Everything is open. Like you can join any of our calls, no matter whether it is design call, a call like this one about content or a development call. So you can participate, listen in and learn. Like everything we do is open. We tend to do everything as an open organization. So one thing that uh, this call <laughs> should have been about is about uh, contributing to BTC Pay Server documentation. So Parker, if you can go to docs.btcpayserver.org. So this is our user documentation, as you can see on Parker's screen. Um, it is also on GitHub, so everything we have is open source and anybody can contribute to it. Uh, if you go to user docs, this is where everything about BTC Pay Server is, like how interface looks and how to use it. And in the upper header, Parker, if you can click on contribute, perfect. So here we also have ways in which you can help us uh, develop software, write for the software, design, translate, and everything. Like all of these guys are step-by-step -step documented and you can uh, learn there. We also have videos. So uh, Parker, if, if you can click on documentation. Yep. <clears throat> uh, this is where we have video basically guiding you guys step-by-step -step on how you can contribute to BTC Pay server. Uh, it explains everything uh, about, you know, GitHub, how to fork a repository and all of these complex things. But if you do not even understand that and you're willing to like write and help us write documentation and just, uh, you know, you can proofread it and uh, help us improve. You can uh, always come to our chat and have one on one calls either with me or bus or whoever it is uh, available we will uh, help you figure this out. So. If you have any questions, feel free to interrupt me at any point. I will be talking a little bit too much for this call, but I just want to give you a quick rundown on how things are related. So does anybody have maybe a question here besides why the hell my PC is behaving so weirdly today? I guess we don't have questions yet. Okay, so one more thing, and I will share a link uh, with Parker here. We also have like our, our roadmap and the way we plan things is also open source. So it is available on GitHub and, and anybody can con uh, preview actually um, the direction of in which we are developing um, BTC Pay server itself. But we also have, since we are talking about documentation today, and I will share this link very shortly. I just need to find it. And this may look all look scary. 
Yeah, documentation roadmap. Bravo. That's it. So this is basically a list of issues that we encountered as we read our documentation, as we try and as people report basically problems, we open these issues or tickets and we try to solve them. You can see here, like we try to prioritize them, uh, label them based on the certain portion of documentation. And for certain issues, which we think are very easy for first timers, we label them good first issue. That is the green label that you can see here. So if you're on GitHub, uh, you can simply filter by that label and see some of the issues which you guys can tackle. And I know that for newcomers, this all can sound too, maybe too technical, maybe uh, hard, but trust me, uh, five years ago when I started, this was even harder. There wasn't even the UI for all of these things and you can really learn all of this. This is not rocket science once you like do one or two contributions it's really easy to, to um, kick things off so besides writing for btc pay server we also would like to have like more video content um, in the future so uh, parker if you can click on the videos tab on the roadmap there should be a video tab uh, is it this guy no, no, no that's the label like uh, okay yeah, that one on the right on the right oh yeah great. nice well, we also have like videos which we think should be helpful. So if any of you guys like making videos, recording, you know, uh, making tutorials, screencasts, you can also contribute to us in that way because we realize that a lot of people like to learn through videos, not just by reading content. And sometimes it is easier as you, you know, follow things by, by simply watching a video than reading um reading things though there are like people who prefer reading and those who prefer video and then you have a mixture of people who uh, listen to video while they're mm -hmm. browsing the content so are there uh, maybe some questions uh, do you guys feel like this is maybe too much am i talking too fast uh, because yeah um uh, also, uh, if there are people interested here, maybe we can host um, a call specifically for helping you guys like set up your GitHub account and, you know, forking a repository and learn all of these things. So would any of you be maybe interested in that or do you guys already know how to do it? Maybe we can, any interest? I Everyone would love that. <laughs> so bad. Could not hurt. Yep. Yeah, that that would be really awesome if we can schedule that one. Let's, uh, boss, let's schedule that one and uh, maybe around some time like this. And it will also, I will try to record it as well. So uh, we can, you know, uh, <laughs> Kasparov says he promised to <laughs> contribute something in return. And that that's awesome. That's uh, really what open source is about, like uh, giving, giving, uh, learning and, you know, connecting. And I'm ha happy and people who know, um, you know, in, in our community who know this, I'm sure we can have someone else joining in and um, guiding you guys step by step because it really isn't hard uh, to do all of these things. And yeah, let's schedule a call for, yeah, yeah. Nice. I will maybe uh, add it to the calendar, but also I forgot to add what like very important thing. We do have a community chat, chat.btcpayserver.org. I will post it here in... Okay, so I posted the link in the chat to our GitHub repository. And up there, there is one link, which is iCal, simple iCal file. You can, um, if, I'm not sure if Parker, eh, yeah, yep. that one, you see, there is an ins instruction here for different calendars, how you can import it. So basically you will be fetching this and it will be called like BTC pay server calendar. And up there you will see like all the calls that are happening. So. All you have to do is copy that link and, you know, depending on which software you use or uh, system that you use, you just need to go file, new calendar, subscriptions. And then you're in a way subscribing to this calendar, which will be always posting new meetings in your, uh, but it also in your calendar, like locally or whatever, whichever calendar you use. But also if you join our community chat, we usually remind people, hey, we have a call. So this is also one way in which you can be up to date with the uh, calls happening. Yes, yes, <laughs> good point, yeah. So I, for example, this is one, you see DB, you asked a question, how do we find calendar? And now we realize that it's not very well presented. And then also Bas complained earlier about that as well. So we need to ha have 
a way of better showcasing this. So maybe they, they, that's, that can be one of the issues which we can work on next week. How do we make calendar a little bit more prominent, you know, across our multiple website? So one thing about open source is whenever you encounter something problematic, uh, something either you're reading our documentation, on our website, and you realize that there is a problem that you don't understand or something is unclear, or maybe you find a typo. So depending on where exactly you found this, you can basically open an issue. That's um, how it's called technically, but it's basically opening in a way a ticket, you know, giving us a task to, to fix it and address it. So um, I'm not sure where do we want to put this one, but if you, Parker, if you go to GitHub, uh, uh, BTC pay server dot GitHub, yeah. Yeah, it's very hard to explain, but imagine if there was a company which with different departments. So you have like uh, documentation department, you have like designer department, all of these small departments are in a way separate GitHub repositories where all of the tracking of the problems and actual problem solving happens. So everything is open. Like you don't even have to have a GitHub account in order to, to preview how an open organization like BTC Pay Server works. Like everything is open and uh, you can join in and help. So. Since we were talking about filing or reporting a problem, here is one way you can do it. So I see that Parker is maybe not logged in uh, in his GitHub. So maybe we won't file it immediately um, because yeah, maybe he will reveal. Yeah, let me, let me yeah. see, I can just turn it off real quick and log in and see yeah, if I have yeah. a account sure. real quick. Um, guys, uh, now it's probably a good time to ask, are there any uh, questions? I keep asking this, but really feel free to ask anything that maybe, I, I understand that maybe all of this is a little bit like too much, but I promise we will tackle this step by step and it's not really that hard. <laughs> all pretty clear and uh, easy to understand for me. Something uh, I was just thinking, sorry, while I'm signing, uh, for the video stuff, if anybody does want to record any uh, OBS or any of themselves or any video of themselves working on something, um, I'd like to make like a, a standard recording doc that says like, if you're in OBS, here's the settings. They should always be at least 1920 by 1080 or better yet, 2560 by 1440. Um, so Pat, but I was thinking I can make like a short little list of that just so we kind of get a standard. Yeah, one very important thing to note about um, open source project in general is that usually they don't use and we don't use any sort of tracking to track how users interact either with the websites, with the server itself, with any portion of our like stack. We don't track anything. So the way we improve it is literally just based on feedback from um, like our users, our contributors, people using software just, you know, saying us, hey, this doesn't work. I think this can be better. I encountered a problem while doing this and that. And I think it can be improved by certain, you know, improving this. So just posting feedback, questions, questioning our decisions, design decisions, any of those is very helpful. And, you know, when you have like, a, okay, we are now in on GitHub, but... <laughs> My point is, feel free to raise your voice or your concerns or simply ask a question. It's really um, something that help us improve. And if you ask a question, you won't look like you don't know or that you are, you know, uh, unskilled. It literally just helps us understand areas in which we can improve. And now uh, let's maybe show how, how we can file a report, in, especially in documentation repositories. So Parker, you want to guide us through it maybe? Right now, Parker is basically reporting a problem, opening a ticket. Um, if you click submit a new issue, it will appear as a ticket. And then, you know, uh, either a contributor can see, uh, you know, how to tackle it or anybody else can um, tackle it. If, you, for example, you guys want to improve the visibility and you know how to do that, you can simply comment on that ticket and say, hey, I'm taking this one and then we will assign it to you. So 
Uh, that's how you report a problem, regardless of which repository of BTC Pay server you found a problem. Uh, besides documentation, since I think we've been a little bit more into docs itself, I just want to say that we have blog as well. We have blog.btcpayserver.org, if you can go there. Dot .btc, yeah. For now, our blog, as you guys can maybe see, is mostly about technical things, our releases, but it would be really helpful if any of you guys liked writing articles about, you know, BTC Pay Server being used by merchants or maybe interviewing certain users and trying to come up with the content for our blog. I think that can also tremendously help us in visibility in SEO terms, but also bringing some interesting content people can... Um, you know, engage with or maybe find interesting. So far, we mostly post updates which aren't really, I guess, engaging and aren't really something that people mostly care about, unless it's a security vulnerability or a big new release, I guess. <laughs> but also blog is open source and on the next call, we can show all of you how to, you know, um, maybe make a change or submit an article or things like that. So uh, is anybody maybe here on a call good with uh, content writing? like articles maybe or sure yeah i think this is good uh, segue into next thing which is also related to merchants like besides documentation blog we also have directory.btcpayserver.org and i pasted the link in the chat but directory there we go so this is basically a website which showcases uh, merchants and users who use BTC Pay Server in a certain way. And it's like uh, basically a list that helps people see who uses BTC Pay Server and how BTC Pay Server can be used. If you're a web developer, we can probably get uh, some improvements here. And um, it'll be cool if there is a web dev here who can help us improve the visibility and the visuals and maybe create separate pages for all of these merchants for better SEO. Um, that can also be one thing uh, people can contribute to. But also, people, uh, if you go up all the way up through to this website, you can submit a new entry. If you realize that there is a merchant who uses BTC Pay Server, you can submit an entry. And what this actually form, or what it does, is automatically posts a, a, an issue on our GitHub. So if you're a contributor to a directory repository, what you can do is simply tackle that issue and add this uh, specific merchant into our website. Um, I can show you maybe next week how we do that as well. It's very easy. There is just a single file and you just copy over things from the issue. So it's mostly like copy pasting, but it's a good way to learn GitHub because it's very simple and you cannot mess things up at all. This is, this is the first time I've seen this page. This is incredible. Yeah, there are lots of parts that people just, you know, uh, aren't <laughs> aware of. And I think this is a problem because we need to do a better job at uh, simply communicating all of this because there are so much things people can uh, learn from and contribute to. And there is so always tasks that can be tackled, but we probably have that issue of visibility. And also, I think, marketing problem as well on our end. So anybody watching the video or anybody who is now on a call, if you're also good with marketing and think uh, maybe there are better ways to BTC Pay Server can be communicated to the world and have some cool ideas, just feel free to reach out uh, on Mattermost. I think that's also one for, uh, aspect where we also need a lot of help this year in particular, because when you type in accept Bitcoin payments or how to accept Bitcoin payments or accept payments in Shopify, you don't really get BTC Pay Server anywhere. And uh, I think we can probably as a community improve that. And uh, it connect, it, all the dots connect, like SEO content and marketing, all these teams will eventually interfere. So it will be very cool to have um, people joining in and autonomously forming teams that can solve problems and improve uh, BTC Pay Server. Because at the end of the day, it's not my project. It's not Nicola's project. It's not, you know, Bass or Parker's. It's our project that we want to bring to, to the world to use for free always. So um, yeah, good, good way to, to learn things, I guess. So directory is also one of the things. Uh, 
there are uh, probably a few more things that we can discuss on this call, but I feel like I've been overwhelming people with information. So um, maybe are there? Sorry, but yeah, that's very very good point, Bus. Um, Somebody recently did an SEO audit of uh, BTC Pay Server and what they noticed, and they shared this document with us, it's in SEO channel PDF. They said the directory can really be good for SEO, but it's a single page. So if there is a web dev who can, you know, separate this into, you know, when you click on a merchant so that it opens a, a page where it can, you can read a little bit more info on them and then go to their website. Perhaps this can be tasks that uh, people can tackle on. So. I guess directory is very good starting point for web developers simply looking to contribute and improve. So is our main site, really. Cool. Like, yeah. It'd be so cool to make some filters. I am for now maintaining this one, but yeah. Um, we can... Oh. Showing out oh, here. Oh, okay. Showing sub filters. Oh my God. Yeah, this is dense. This would be really cool to make some like carousel thing at the top or something when you're in one of them. Click to the next. No way. <laughs> yeah, now I'm like, oh, this would be really fun. Just feel free to, to grab uh, and improve it if you want. Awesome. Okay. So, um, I feel like we're reaching a point where maybe we can take some questions if there are any, or maybe then we can show you how actually we tackle this problem, but by concretely discussing an issue in uh, a documentation, uh, which um, Bus actually uh, tried to tackle. So I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah. I feel like I'm, I've been talking for an hour, so <laughs> would be good to take a break and just see um, how you do guys? How do you guys feel? DB Cutpro, like, is any of these? Does it any make sense, or do you feel like this can be something that can be interesting to you guys? Uh, yeah, definitely. Um, I've spoken with Bass actually quite a bit about wanting to start on some Bitcoin project, and he's been recommending BTC Pay Server. So we shall see. I've got a little experience with uh, GitHub and some programming, and. Uh, yeah, I just I guess uh, I'm gonna basically go back through the video step by step and bookmark some places and get going uh, over the course of the next week. That's okay. I feel the same. Yeah, um, kind of pumped after this talk to to contribute. Uh, it's cool to see the list of issues. Thirty five now. It's thirty six. So um, I'm just gonna try to maybe pick something and and be helpful. Uh, Kas Kasparov just posted a message. I'm in basically that exact same camp that um, I, I know the theory of GitHub, but I just don't have a lot of practice using it in big groups. And uh, yeah, I was basically my own personal way to like save files in my last job. Yeah, exactly. So the whole process of like creating issues and pull requests and all that, I, I, <laughs> I, I have so, a lot of time, so. Yeah, good. and so I'll just find a, an issue and respond and say, hey, I'd like to take this and um, take it from there. And, I, you know, there's a lot of YouTubing that I can do outside of this project, just how to, how to behave properly on GitHub and submit things the right way. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. That's why I'm here, too. And also to uh, connect with other people who share a similar mindset. Yeah, all also a good way to like you don't have to tackle these tickets specifically you can go to docs.btcpayserver.org and just read things through because none of us are native english speakers and sometimes you know sentences are just maybe confusing too long or you, you can find a typo that you can fix so there are things you can fix yourself this is just the issues that we noticed and then we you know log them in but they're like also, one more topic I want to open is by contributing to open source, like, yes, you're learning, you're networking, but it can tremendously help your career. Uh, it seems that like companies in Bitcoin space in particular um, really value when they see that the person has been contributing to specifically Bitcoin open source software. It's really like a big plus uh, when you're applying uh, for a job and if you're like, especially contributing to an influential project that is well-known, that's even better. So 
if you're looking to expand a little bit of your CV or whatever, it's really a good way. And uh, yeah, it, it's not really selfish that you want to get involved because of this, because all of us join in uh, to fix certain things or to learn, but then you stay for community, for networking, and you will see uh, open source can really be a great way, not just for career, but also for friendships and, you know, uh, doing meaningful work as well. Yeah, so employers also take a look at your GitHub account um, and when they do see a strong GitHub account uh, with lots of commits, it's very strong signal that you're a good candidate. If you switch to 2001, I think that's the year or 2000, 2020 actually, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh that's my God. crazy. Like, you know. <laughs> and you don't even have to be like a developer to do all this. Like I'm not a developer myself. Uh, <laughs> In order to, you know, understand developers, even if you're a product type of person, you really need to know all of this stuff in order to help your team create anything. So uh, GitHub itself is really great thing to learn. Um, and I think it's like the ma a must tool right, uh, these days for, for anything. So since we're getting close to one hour mark with all of my errors and uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, problems and bugs that I encountered. Um, maybe it will be a good time for us to actually do now something operational, basically show you how we, we discuss about things. So maybe we will just have one issue that we had in documentation and then we can maybe close this one because it, I feel like at this point there is a lot of information and for those watching, join our chat. We will post all of these links and we will happily discuss any of these later on in, in our documentation channel on our Metromost. So can we go to maybe documentation and issues? Oh, wait, wrong repo. Yeah, that one is, yeah, you're in the wrong repo. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> wait, am I I'm in need... the wrong repo? Yeah, ah. on the organization, right? Yeah. Got it. And then. Oh, got it. Maybe, okay. Bus, how about we discuss this pull request right away? We'll just show an example of uh, Bus proposing a change or tackling a ticket. So if you go to pull request. So as you, as you scroll down now through that pull request, you will see the comments that I made. I made some su concrete suggestions and sometimes I just ask Bus a, Bus a question if something wasn't uh, quite clear to me. So. As you can see, all of this is in the open. Anybody can read it. And that's why people usually have to behave in a civilized way because like, you don't want to showcase people, uh, newcomers maybe that you're you know, uh, yelling at people when you're reviewing things. So, and it's usually like that in most open source projects that I join, like people really respectfully showcasing you and maybe giving concrete suggestions of what should be added. So now Bus will later on review my suggestions. Some of them he will maybe accept, some of them maybe he will think aren't valid. And then we will continue working on this specific pool. Okay, sure. Uh, so yeah, so basically what will happen next is that Bus will go through my uh, suggested changes as, as you can see even I make mistakes when suggesting a change it doesn't mean that I'm always correct so more more eyes on actual conversations and code is always good in open source and as many as us look at uh, you know conversations and suggested things that the better the software that since um, yeah so uh, let's not go too deep into this I feel like it's a little bit too much now uh, and we are all already over our time. I just want to discuss something as well with Parker. So if you go to that issue mm -hmm. and see Shopify, not, not issues. Oh. Okay. So we yeah. do have like a Shopify issue somewhere on the page. I'm not sure where it is. I just saw it. it was... Oh. Should be somewhere. Uh... Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. So recently we added updated our Shopify integration and everything changed. So now we updated documentation, but we still need to update the video. So what I did here is I recorded my screen and very lightly commented through the changes. And now I'm sending those links uh, to Parker. I'm sending him video that I recorded and then he will professionally do it for our YouTube channel as well. 
No, yeah, Parker, that would be awesome. If you're commenting on that issue, then I can assign it to you so that people can know that you're working on it. Awesome. So just leave that comment and later on, or maybe immediately I can assign it to you so that, you know, we don't overlap on things. Okay. I know this is an old account I'm seeing here. <laughs> we'll change that. <clears throat> okay, I assigned him right away. Should be good if you read. Oh, it. cool! Yeah, I saw that right there. Yep. It, it updates right away. So now you're in charge on, on on that ticket, and we know that nobody should tackle it or things like that. So, uh, as you guys can see, GitHub is very nice collaborative platform. It's not just for code and coders. Uh, we uh, people who update content as well use it, and it is very good to collaborate in this way. So as we are nearing to, uh, to the end of, I guess, the, today's call. Um, DB and Casper, since you are on the on the call, how do you feel about this? Uh, do you have any questions or any ideas? I'm too fresh to this to have any thoughts, but I, I just really appreciate your guys' time, um, and I, I will put in a little bit of work and hopefully have something meaningful to, to add or say next week. Uh, yeah, I just I thought it was a great idea. Just like you said read the docs like go all the way through it i'm a native english speaker so i might be able to just notice some things but i'm just planning on working through the software and following the documentation and seeing anything that's not perfect awesome i will share another resource in the chat it's not uh, through the btc pay server but bitcoin design another open source i'm involved in i made uh, videos for them as well how to propose a change how to review a pull request so everything we talked about there there are like a few videos and a little bit of text so if i left the link and i'll leave it as well in our matter most after the call so that you guys can also view things there i think it can also be helpful uh, in learning it, it refers to bitcoin design but it applies to any open source project uh, so we also have a video for btc pacer in particular but this one goes a little bit uh, more in depth because i made it at a later a later point as i learned more uh, about github myself so um now operational stuff are there anything that we missed guys <laughs> db sorry i saw you wanted to talk do, do you have any question or you know that to... that website you posted looks perfect Th those are my questions like you know forks and branches and and kind of walking through all that so thanks for sharing that yeah yeah and there is a video as well so you can follow along and feel free to ping me if anything is unclear there uh, as well I will share all, all of these links in Mattermost, uh, so don't worry if we close the chat. Man, I really needed this. Thank you guys for walking through the basic GitHub stuff. So yeah. I should have been doing this a long time ago. Yeah, so if, if I can give one uh, call to action, at least for next week, that would be to watch the videos that I shared. But also just read BTC Pay Server documentation on the front end, docs.btcpayserver.org. And anything that you notice that is maybe incorrect or you know not could be improved, feel free to open a ticket for it. Or maybe if it's that is overwhelming, just use a Google Doc and you know put all of these in a single document. And maybe on a call afterwards, we can uh, you know actually file tickets. If you know opening an issue is a little bit, uh, I, I don't think it's hard, but people are sometimes scared scared if they'll do something wrong which is that you cannot go wrong with any of these but if you're scared google doc you can share it and then we will file tickets together perfect yep thank you yes we will post same same time maybe even same day but let's discuss this after the call uh, so we can all sync up and but definitely next week we are doing one more call and which will go a little bit more uh, on the GitHub and how to do pull requests and things like that. Thanks. Hey guys. For too long, we've relied on trusted third parties to process digital payments. The world is changing and so are your customers. As cash payments decrease, digital payments become the standard. But existing apps charge transaction fees and lack privacy. BTC Pay is a Bitcoin payment platform. It gives control over your business back to you, helping people achieve financial freedom with donations, payments, and more.
help your family and onboard your friends. Use BTC Pay to host multiple stores and become a payment platform of your own. While the world changes around you, stay in control of your finances. It's simple to use, censorship resistant, and completely free. This is more than a payment platform. It's transforming digital payments as fast as the world around us.